Okay, Jeff here from X Factor Tackle. Um, I want to walk you through this rig. So I just did a video on how to rig this up. Um, click the link down below on how to rig uh, the learn more section there. Um, but basically, this is a uh, egg loop knot. We call it a uh, bait loop knot. Somebody you may call it. Um, and basically, um, you don't have to use this loop. So I've got a rig in the after this video that you can watch on um, what I always use this rig for. I don't ever put bait in it. I don't like using regular bait. That's why we. That's why X Factor Tackle exists because I just don't. I don't like the mess and the hassle of it. It's just a, to me, it's a total waste of time and unnecessary as far as productivity. Um, but this this uh, hook, um, not just a sickle hook, but um, a uh, octopus hook in general so octopus hooks are created um so they're they're all offset see that see how it's not straight okay um that might be a better angle i'm not if i hold it straight you can see but i'll i'll turn it and you can see that it's not straight right so there's a an offset bend in there so like in other words if i put it on a table um use my hand as a horrible example <laughs> but um if i put this on a table it's not going to sit straight right it's got an offset bend in it the other thing that it has is a turned up eye okay so the eye is going that way um and the way that these are meant to be fished um you can fish it under a float i do often um and i'll i'll put like split shot on my line depending on on the current and uh you know what i'm facing um but uh side drift them whatever bobber dog them you can do um, but basically what you want to do is be able to have pressure applied on the shank of the hook so that when this hook is buried say the hook is buried like this in the fish okay what that does see how it's See how it's right up against, I mean, if you've got it buried like this, it's right up against this bend, okay, that sickle bend. And that right there makes it really hard for the fish to shake loose, okay. But the other thing is with a proper knot, and you could even, you could even tie it, I'm, I'm not convinced you need to go all the way down the length of the shank. Some people will, will say that. Uh, you do but basically what happens is the fish is pulling that way and you're pulling this way and this offset here helps now um octopus hooks let me see if i got another example stand by um uh, i know i have one somewhere because uh, so octopus hooks are not always sickle hooks in other words um um you know owner and uh, gamagatsu etc they have they have octopus hooks and theirs are not um sickle hooks uh, um, gamagatsu has their uh, big river which is a sickle uh but but anyways uh, my point is that um this applies to octopus hooks in general it's just that the sickle hook um makes it easier for the fishermen and harder on the fish if that makes sense um, so anyways, when you're applying pressure and the fish is trying to go, you know, fish is going against the pressure, right? And so we're putting pressure on and the hook is buried like this. Um, if you have a regular knot tied, I don't have one rigged, but like, let's just say you took, um, you took this hook here and you just tied your normal like fisherman's knot or you tied like a uni knot or something like that up here you're pulling from here and the fish and the pressure is here and that knot is going to be going all over the place whereas with this rig the line is going right up here you've got control you're using the hook the way it was designed you've got control um, and you're applying the right amount of pressure and as it's again as the fish is pulling you're applying pressure and pressure and pressure and it's just, if you do your job, you keep the line tight. Now, you got fish jumping and rolling and all that stuff. You still have to follow the fish with your rod tip. And you have to be 
Um, you have to do your job and you've got to uh, you got to feel the momentum as that fish is ripping line. You've got to, um, you know, drop the rod when you you can feel the momentum and you can feel them right before they're going to get air when they're ripping down river. You've got to drop the rod and yank it down. And this rig will help you do that, right? So this is buried. Now, keep in mind, sometimes, you know, you got a guy that's got a bead like up here and he's got them in like the side of the face. It doesn't apply to that. This is meant to be in the corner of the mouth or the roof of the mouth. Um, I've even caught them in the bottom. I don't know, um, that's another discussion, how they bite and, and the way that it's going through the water under a float or whichever. Uh, maybe we'll have that discussion another day. But basically, um, this allows the pressure to stay here. Okay, so as you're applying pressure, the pressure point is down here rather than up here. That's maybe a better way to say it. The pressure point is down here. And so that allows this thing to stay buried. Whereas if the, if the, um, the line is tied up here, you're not able to put pressure on the fish properly. And then people will blame the hook and well, I lost the fish or whatever. Well, you didn't have the right knot um, and you still, you still may land fish that way. I have um, uh, before I even realized how these were designed. Um, but basically, if you've if you've got this thing, you know, dialed in properly and the hook is buried, um, you shouldn't be losing fish at all. And if you are, I would be willing to bet that the hook got dull um, while you were, you know, dragging through rocks or something like that. Um, so hopefully this video is helpful. Um, if you have questions, go ahead and post them down below. You can email us, message us, etc., wherever you see this video. Uh, thanks for watching.